Well, COVID-19 isn't the only uh, pandemic the island is battling. The state is also dealing with an epidemic of drug addiction and overdose deaths around the island. And on Kauai, police say the continued distribution of hardcore and illicit drugs is leading to premature deaths. And the main sources of these overdoses, meth, heroin, cocaine, and fentanyl. And joining me to talk about the, this big issue of overdose and addiction is Aaron Hoff with the Keala Foundation. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm, I'm doing well, and, and this is really important work that, that you, you're out there doing on Kauai. Tell me a little bit about this uh, Keala Foundation and, and what, what work you've been doing recently. So I've been, I'm a recovered drug addict, and I, I've been working in the field um, on my own for about 25 years now. And I created the Keala Foundation to create an environment for kids that is positive and sober and they have great mentors because um, Kauai, the drug, the drug use, the alcoholism and all that is so normalized. That's the biggest threat that we have over here. It, it's just like, it's part of our culture, you know? So it's easy for the kids to get involved in it. It's just like, it's just like a, like a, it's just a one way trip for our kids over here because there is no environments that are available for these kids like ours all year round, you know? This, so it's very, it's probably one of the most critical things on the island that is um, that we're facing right now is the, the epidemic with the, the opiates because the, um, all the drugs they're coming in everything. The, the the fentanyl is coming in everything, and it's not just one bad batch. It's it's everything that is going to come from here on out. It has fentanyl in it, and and I I've, I've been watching you know kids kids die. At, friends die a ton of overdoses you know Kauai is a small island so it's like a family you know everybody and it's like the, the massive amount of overdose overdoses that are happening are just staggering so I've been going into the schools with um one of the kids that we worked with has been in our foundation for eight years um she's she's spearheading the awareness program and my buddies in the mainland that I work with, they just created a documentary called Dead on Arrival, which is I highly suggest everybody watch it and um, get it in front of their kids, get it in front of their friends, and all, because it, it'll, it basically explains exactly what they're up against. It's like, it's like Russian roulette now. Whenever you touch something that's not from a doctor, chances are it has fentanyl in it. Yeah. And the res yeah, the result of that, when you take that stuff is, is you may not overdose right away, but eventually you're going to overdose. That is a guarantee because that stuff is, it's, it's deadly. Yeah. And we're, and we're yeah. showing, yeah. And we're showing part of that, that now we'll bring that up in a second, but just kind of, you know, having been through this yourself, uh, what do you kind of see as the solution? I think we all grew up with either some variation of dare or safe or one of these programs where they come and talk to you, but clearly, you know, it's, it's still been, you know, maybe the message not getting across in, in a lot of cases. Yeah. So right now the solution is I've been in prevention and um, recovery. And right now the, the biggest thing to do is, is get in front of these kids with this video because it's successful. I, when I went to school, the school, the first aid, none of the, none of the kids knew about what the problem was. And that's, that's a bad thing because they're sitting ducks right now until they get this information. They have no idea. They don't have the facts. And when they when and then now I've been going to the school, I probably reached five, six hundred kids in the past two weeks. I go to their homerooms with friends and people and and then um now their kids are talking. When I go to the homerooms and talk to the kids, I'm asking, Hey, do you guys know about fan and all that? Oh yeah, our friends said they saw the video and they've been talking about it. So now the whole school is talking about it. And it's um that is key. Prevention is and that's that's it takes putting your boots on the ground, it takes people becoming unselfish giving their time up, going out there and and getting in front of these kids. Yeah. That's, you have to go and get in front of these kids. Uh, otherwise, yeah. yeah. I just tell everybody, if you watch this video and you don't go in front of those kids, the blood is on your hands because that's, it's, 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 it's these kids are, it's it's just deadly. It's, it's the worst thing that's hit. Absolutely, and, we, and Aaron, uh, we're outside. We appreciate you know the work that you're doing and, and such an important topic there in Kauai. You know, thank you so much. Yeah, and check us out, the Kiala Foundation. It's um, 
I can give you all the information, whatever you guys need to do it, where you're home, how we're doing it. It's been uh, my, my pleasure to do whatever I can to help everybody get this out in front of the kids. Yep, absolutely. And again, it's uh, Keala Foundation, we'll, and we'll post all that information uh, on our website at KITV.com if you want to check it out. Meanwhile, we're off for a break. You're watching Good Morning Hawaii.